Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, somebody asked me if there was a way to see how much data you have used in a certain amount of time in Windows 10. So Windows 10 does keep track of the amount of data that you use in 30 days. And you can actually see it on your connection. The simplest way to see this in Windows 10, if you have Wi-Fi, simply right click on the Wi-Fi connection. If it's Ethernet, you'll have the little computer uh, screen connection, internet, the Ethernet connection there. Right click on it too. You simply go to Open Network in Internet Settings. And here you will see that there is the connection and here's the 30-day uh, uh, usage. You can also go and click Data Usage here, it's going to bring you to this page. It's going to tell you what apps are using the most data. And you can actually enter a limit. You can say, well, I'm every month, I don't want to use more than a certain amount of megabytes or gigabytes. You choose your unit and click Save. What happens is that when you set that limit, your internet is going to stop when it reaches that limit. So if you're having, um, you know, if you have a data cap and it's very, very important not to go over because you might be charged, well, this is the way that you can control that. So simply look at your connection. Look, it's going to tell you 30 days how much you've actually used. And you can, of course, go, like I said, to data usage to enter a limit if you need to, to do one. Or it might just be interesting to see how much did gigabytes did you know my computer use what are the apps using the most um, of all these uh, this data and uh, of course in my case maker Microsoft Edge with the upload of videos um, this is pretty much the only functionality that I do with this machine do videos for Windows 10 so that's a good idea to look at this and once again, enter a limit if you wish not to go overboard of a certain uh, limit of data. Another thing that's interesting in here, because if you have multiple computers and you have the same data cap, you might want to uh, set limits per machine. So you have three Windows 10 machines. You can go to each machine and say, so I'm allowed 100 gigabytes a month. Um, how about I do 33 gigabytes on each machine? which means that if they're used pretty much equally, they're all going to stop before you go overboard that 100 gigabytes. And of course, you can set specific amounts that total 100 gigabytes. So you can have one machine that's not used a lot. You can say, well, that one will allow, you know, 10 gigabytes. One that is used a lot, I'm going to use, I'm going to set a um, 60 gigabyte limit. And the other one that's used a little more and, you know, the rest. So if you have 10 here, 60 here, you have 70 gigabytes. You can use the third machine, say that one will be 30 gigabytes. Well, total 100, so it doesn't over, go over your 100 gigabyte data cap. So these are things you can use um, in IDs that I can give you to um, limit the amount of data if you're worried that you go overboard every month. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.